Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Hope you're all good, hope you're all well. Uh, I hope the camera's all right. It's looking a little bit dark, but hopefully that'll probably be all right. So as you can tell from the thumbnail, you'll know what the beer review is. Uh, let me just grab that, wipe my glass. Uh, but yeah, what we've got coming up is a review that I never thought I'd be doing. Uh, am I surprised I'm doing it? Probably not really. If I'd actually thought about it, well, when you think about it, it probably isn't the biggest shock. But I'm a little bit surprised that uh, I'm doing it. And what we've got is Left Blonde coming up. And I ordered this last week, and I think it come Friday. Uh, I've got it out the shed this morning to whack in the fridge, ready for the machine now. So I can have a beer later on, because I only had like, oh, well, as it happens, I had that much lower and brow left in me uh, keg. Uh, and yeah, and I noticed, because I checked this online, I checked online to see what the ABV was of it, because recently Left Blonde has been lowered, so all the bottles in the shops are 6%. Uh, it turns out even the ones in spoons, I think, are 6%. Uh, so I checked the ABV on my keg. Lo and behold, what's happened? It's 6% which is quite uh, a little bit naughty from Perfect Draft, shall we say, as they're still advertising it at 6.6%. .6%. So this is the reason I'm re-reviewing it because I've not tried the 6% one. I know a lot of people have reviewed the bottom and that. I've not tried it yet. Uh, so I figure, being as I've been shafted, or cheekily fucking conned, uh, I might as well get a review out of this. So what we're gonna do is a review of Left Blonde. It's the 6% one. Is it brewed in the UK? I don't know. I'm kind of guessing it would be. Uh, so like I say, I've not had it before. Should have been £38.90. Same as the 6.6% .6 one, but I've been charged the same price for a 6% one, uh, even though they say about the tax on the ABV. Uh, but obviously I wasn't charged that because I got it at 25, 20% uh, discount off it. So uh, so I've had 20% discount off it, so which is what, uh, about eight, nine quid. So it's coming in at just under 30 quid. £5 for the keg return. So yeah, it's still good value, but is the beer any good? And that's what we're here to do. So we're gonna do a re-review of the old left. Uh, there's the pint glass. I'm not gonna do a video of the pour. Uh, the machine uh, was already cold and the keg was in the fridge. I've got the machine set for six. It's currently at five. I think we can live with that. So I'm gonna pause the video, go over there, do a pour, come back, and we'll take a look at it. So we are back. Uh, that was the first one. First glass out of it. So rather busy on the head. So only just filled it up to there and I've poured another one. So you always get that spurt out of the, the first glass. So beer in a glass, there we go. Uh, amber in color, sort of deep amber in color. Does it look any different? I don't know. It maybe looks a little bit lighter, not so deep in color. Uh, We've got about a finger of fluffy white compact head and there is a few bubbles going up. So it kind of looks the same. I'm not sure, you know, this could be me just nitpicking and looking for issues with this beer already, but it could be a little bit lighter maybe. Uh, that is a possibility. So let's dive in with the nose, see what we get and see if it is much different. Uh, I'm not sure it feels any different on the nose, if I'm honest. Yeasty, malty, a little bit sweet. Maybe, I think the banana is there. There's a bit of caramel there as well. Again, there could be subtle differences on the nose, but it'd be much better if I was comparing it to uh, one of the 6.6 .6 ones, but it maybe feels like it's lost a little bit, but I wouldn't like to definitely say. So let's dive in on the new, possibly UK brewed, Left Blonde 6% from the Perfect Draft Pro. Cheers. Oh yeah, yeah, different. 
you can just tell it's different. Straight away, the, the first thing for me, let me go in on this one again, because my first thoughts were the body is lighter, feels a bit thinner, the carbonation is busier. Hmm. And to me, yeah, that head, that thicker, creamier head doesn't even save the beer, if I'm honest. It's lighter. I think it's a bit more carbonated than the other one used to be. Yeah, there's definitely a difference there. Definitely a difference. Yeah, the beer is a lot thinner. It's lost that sticky edge to it for me. Carbonation is busier in the mouth. Uh, it's not as smooth as it used to be. The carbonation does leave it a little bit rough, but I'm not going to say it absolutely murders the beer but it certainly feels more carbonated when you drink it. The beer is lighter, like I say. And the more you drink it, the more, the more you can just tell. Uh, on the taste, it just, <laughs> it has that caramel note, if you like. It's malty. It's malty, has a caramel note. For me, it's lost that fruity floral note that you used to get from it. The banana is sort of gone in the taste. I think you get the hoppiness more in the beer. It is slightly bitter, more on the back end, but it's lost so much. It's lost so much. It's lost in body. It's lost stuff in body. It's gained in carbonation, which means it's then lost in mouthfeel. It hasn't got the smoothness of the original. I think it's lost a bit of that yeastiness. It's definitely lost that stickiness that you used to get from the beer. It's not the same as it was by a long way. Uh, you don't get them fruity floral notes either that I used to get in it. I used to find them in there. They were always there. There was always this little fruity floral note. Even maybe a bit of a, a herbaceous note in there. That is thin as fuck. That's really lost its body. Uh, for me, thinking about the old Lef, they've completely fucked it. They've completely ruined this beer. Uh, compared to the original Left Blonde, in my opinion, in my opinion, you know, you can argue with me if you like, but in my opinion, we're going to have a top up there. In my opinion, they've, they've totally changed that beer and it doesn't have that same feel when you drink it now. It doesn't have the same enjoyment that you used to have. Uh, it's a shame I mean, for me, do you know, what they should have done, really, is just fucked off the Lef. Get rid of the name Lef and call it something else. Because in its, own right, in its own right, the beer is okay. It would never, for me, it would never be one that would blow your mind kind of blonde. 
it would just be another sort of blonde. It feels actually, I'll tell you what it feels like. It feels a little bit more French now. I think a lot of French beers are quite shit, if I'm honest, uh, when they try doing blondes and that. And, and this is what it feels like to me. It feels like a cheaper French version of, of, of a blonde now, really. Uh, and it's disappointing. It's disappointing. Uh, I know there's been lots of talk over it, but it's still drinkable. And I will drink it because I've got a bloody keg of it now. Uh, will I be so keen to rush out and buy it? I don't think so. I don't think I will. Uh, seems to be the way of the world nowadays, doesn't it, with, with the perfect draft? They love bringing kegs out and then whacking down the ABV. Yeah, tax reasons and all that bollocks. Do you know what? Just charge the price for a beer. Fuck the tax, right? If if a keg of left is going to cost you 40 quid to have the 6.6%, I'd rather pay it than pay a little bit less and be shafted with basically a cheap imitation. And that's all this is now. This is just, for me, it's a, it's, it's a cheap imitation of left, uh, left blonde to what it used to be. So, yeah. I don't think it's going to be one that I would rush out for now. To be honest, I've got some Foulian because there's another offer on, on Perfect Draft, 20-25% uh, off. Depending on how many kegs I order, if I order three and get 20% off or six and get 25%, some Foulian will be one that I order 7%. Yeah, it's a bit dearer, but you know what? It's probably going to knock the arse off this. So it was a belting beer. And at 7% is still the same ABV as it was. So, uh, yeah. Will I start getting that? Quite possibly. But for now, left blonde, 6% on keg. Fucking hell, yeah. Big disappointment. Big disappointment. Would I recommend picking it up? If you love the original left, you're going to be disappointed. If you maybe didn't like the original left and you thought it was a bit too big, this might be for you. But personally, I think they've ruined the beer and they've shit on us English ones again. British people again, haven't they? Uh, so, yeah, there you go. There's my thoughts on this beer. Sorry for waffling on so long. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.